hi guys welcome back to my channel life with lillian hope you guys are doing well wherever you are we are also fine so this was zuri's package which came um from nigeria it has uh, her true dresses that she's gonna use for her birthday shoot guys if i tell you how much i really struggled to find something that i could use <laughs> for the photo shoot it was so so hard for me that i had to look for other alternative alternatives really guys i don't know is it that i am not walking so much or is it that there are not those beautiful dresses in canada because i couldn't find any i checked online i couldn't see anything you know i buy most of my things um on online so uh i couldn't find anything guys i checked for so many days i couldn't so i decided to experience i saw this page on instagram and i was like you know what let me just contact them so i contacted them and here they are <laughs> hi youtube family welcome back to this beautiful channel guys we are in summer i know so we are in summer and we are planning to go for um camp this is our first camp by the way since we came to canada our first not even canada but this is our first ever camp that we are having so guys uh we are having it on saturday today is on monday guess what i've not done any preparation i've not bought anything like i was just chilling now you know it's hitting me that i need so much because i don't have anything like i don't have anything for the um I'll put it here I don't have anything for the camp so i'm just like let me go out now currently it's 5 19 pm guys i know that i should be in the house because of the child but yo let me start this preparation because it's not gonna be easy and being that i have a child i have to carry so much extra things that if i just wait nothing is gonna be done yeah so guys we are at we are at Costco and I want to buy things that I can get from there. We want a tent, chairs, um, what else? Uh, uh, what? Air mattress, um, food, so many things. So I hope that you are going to get a number of them here and if you don't find anything here not even anything i know that you're gonna find some things but if you don't if we do not find all the things that we wanted then uh, i think tomorrow we'll have to go to canadian superstore and then the day after tomorrow we'll have to go to walmart to finalize everything but i want to finalize everything by wednesday because i mean if you have a child you have to prepare guys and i hope that i really hope that i have all that i needed in paper or on the phone like my husband has it in his phone but i don't have it so i just hope that i'll remember even the things that maybe we've not written down to make our camping uh, successful guys this is our first camp and i'm so so excited but i'm also nervous because we are going with the baby and I don't know i don't know how i feel anyway guys i'll carry you along and make sure that you subscribe guys if not if you've not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button the algorithm is telling me that a lot of people who are watching this video have not yet subscribed so please hit the subscribe button and if you watch this <laughs> and if you've watched this video give it a like a thumbs up <laughs> comment down below and share just you know guys anyway just if you've ever gone for camping comment down below tell me how the experience was how you prepared for everything and then i'll see you guys yeah so guys something about costco is that you have to pay a 60 dollar membership fee we didn't know this like the first time we came here this is our second time so the first time we came here we bought our thing we like chose everything that we wanted to buy and when we went uh to when we went to the counter to pay they were like where's your membership card i'm like what's a membership card you know 
I took out my credit card and when I was about to pay, they were like, no, we need your, we need your membership card and we also need a debit card, not a credit card. You know, guys, I was so shocked. And <laughs> that day, I remember we bought uh, this uh, rosette chicken and I was so hungry. I was like, I can't wait to go home and start eating this chicken because it's all it's it's already cooked so when we were there and they were like okay you can go to the next counter and pay <laughs> for your membership fee i was like i can never pay 60 dollars for membership fee never yeah so <laughs> we ended up leaving everything that we wanted to buy and we went back home guys that was how i like, like i couldn't i couldn't imagine paying 60 dollar for just membership 60 dollars for membership i really couldn't anyway so we went home and then uh you know a lot of people were praising costco so many people do praise costco that they have cheaper uh, things and they have a lot of things so we thought about it and i was like okay i think this is the right time to go back to costco and honestly guys i don't know if it's that branch that uh, we went to i really didn't see that much difference i don't know if that um i don't know if those uh lower prices are with the um or electronics because i i don't know like most of the things that i saw there were the same price as the things that i saw on real canadian superstore so i was really mad i was like my 60 dollars my 60 dollars anyway guys i have somebody who i like i have a partner who is always calm and he was like you know what i think next time we'll have to go to another uh costco and see whatever they have and the variety of the things so guys i'm really crossing my fingers that next time we go to costco at least we will find things that are quite cheap especially the groceries guys because grocery is what we usually buy most of the time and if i don't find them that affordable then i really don't know what i'm doing I can't explain what I'm doing because these electronics, we only buy them once in a while. And if I have them all, then what am I going to do with my membership card? Yeah. So uh, during that first, mid, the first uh, time we went there after getting the card, I really didn't see um, the value for my money. I couldn't see it. So I'm really hoping to go back. <laughs> frequently and see you know how i can really benefit from this membership card from this membership yeah i want to benefit from the membership honestly guys so i really hope i really hope that things <laughs> will turn out as expected because if they don't my 60 dollars what do you mean god anyway guys i don't know if it's just uh me i don't know if I'm so used to uh, Canadian, real Canadian superstore that I feel like, guys, let me just not, let me, <laughs> let me not talk much. Anyway, guys, now, you remember when I started this video, I told you that I was coming to buy camp stuff. Guys, look at where I am right now. <laughs> I went to look at my things. I went to look at other things instead of what brought me there. Uh, look at me looking at the watches, you know. <laughs> that is what finishes our money as women. Hmm? Sometimes you say, oh, I'm just going to buy things for $30 and then you end up spending $300. Huh? Now who sent me here? <laughs> who sent me here? Yeah, so I was just, you know, walking around and looking at things most of the things were electronic electronics really <laughs> took my time yeah because i was just trying to show my husband i need this i need this you know this is better i need every single time i was telling him whatever i needed um and in this video we were talking in our language so i think that's why i had to do a voiceover but if we were speaking in english then i think i would just let you hear what i was telling him I was really exhausting his mind with, I want this, 
I think this is good for the house. I think this is good for the kids' room. I want this. I, when we buy a house, kindly let us buy this type of fridge. Let us get this washing machine. Like, I was always <laughs> telling him what we need. Yeah, so guys, uh, after working in Costco for all that while, I didn't find anything that I needed. And yeah, we found some stuff, but they were so expensive. We couldn't do it. Anyway, guys, we decided to go to Walmart and we was we were very lucky because we got a lot of things that were on sale. And guys, if I tell you the kind of relief that I got from Walmart, I just can't explain it. All the things were super affordable and we got almost every i think we got everything that we needed for the camping be it the tent uh air mattresses um the sleepers towels sprays like the mosquito repellent the sunscreen and what else do we use <laughs> it comes the lighter a torch every single thing that we needed for camping we got them from walmart at an affordable price guys i really don't know how to explain this but i feel like walmart 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 takes the day anyway guys so that was it we were good to go another day we went to a real canadian superstore i really like going to this store because almost all the time they usually have these uh, sales and their produces are good fresh and they are at a very very good price so i will always go to the real canadian superstore yeah <laughs> well guys so this was us i think it was the day of camping yeah we were going for camping and it was such a long drive i think it was uh was it two hour drive yeah i think it was three hour drive it was three hour drive and yeah we enjoyed the journey unfortunately zuri didn't enjoy the journey that much because i think she was tired you know going for a three hour drive with a baby is not easy and then one thing that i didn't like at all was my car seat guys zuri has outgrown her car seat the one that we brought with the, the one that we bought her when she was born so we bought this car seat and we have never used it so it was our first time guys we didn't like it you know zuri's head was always tilting forward and it really made her uncomfortable we had to return it guys yes <laughs> so here we are the camping has started we already put up our tent i couldn't really vlog i don't know why i think you know having a baby and then trying to do things really you can forget most of the things but we put up our tent and prepared everything we blown um our air mattresses they were already put there everything else was set up so this was us trying to like we were um this was what were we doing yeah we were cooking tea <laughs> as you can see over there we were cooking tea and then a roasting corn which we enjoyed so much i was trying to do a tour of our tent but i couldn't because tent. we were sleeping and then the people have packed their cars there like it's a very big place where people do camping and you sit down there there's a lake but I'll, I'll, I'll still show you i'll still show you so i have just woken up and to freshen up and there yeah now that's where we freshen up and all the washroom and everything so i want to do that quick and then go and prepare breakfast because uh, we have a big team of people and then we also cook in times cooking time so we want to do that real quick and then i think we should start uh we're supposed to be starting our activities guys i've just woken up please <laughs> yeah so guys this is the place where we eat and we cook and a lot of people have packed here so many people were here that you know it just made it so beautiful guys look at my baby's hair they're so cute <laughs> Yeah, so the girls were cooking pancake, whereas we, us, we were cooking tea, porridge, coffee, name them, name it all. 
yeah so guys we finished with our camping and we went back home i wish i could vlog but <laughs> it wasn't that easy and so when i got home i saw this helicopter up there now this is a hospital guys this is a hospital and as we all know or as i know <laughs> that this helicopter brought uh, maybe sick people and these were the things that i only saw in movies guys it happens in real life i've never experienced this and i was super excited to see that wow so this happens in real life like they go and secu like save people and bring them to the hospitals with the helicopter like it's something so i love how advanced everything is getting like you don't have to see someone die you know you can just call and then the helicopter comes and brings the person to the hospital like that's one of the best things that's happening guys that's one of the best things that is actually happening now and i love it i love it so much anyway guys now talking about living in the middle of the city yeah you will see everything <laughs> now i was in the house and i heard a very loud noise so when i came out this is what was happening i don't know what they were trying to communicate but this or what was happening so in my mind i was like wait but it's almost looking as the kenyan flag even though there was there wasn't any black color but yeah it was so beautiful hi guys so this is on saturday 28th uh, july we were going to do a photo shoot for my lovely daughter anyway guys so i was just trying to admire myself like i've been trying to do makeup for a very long time every every time i try and then i lose hope and stop guys i have so many makeup products but i just fail to use them i don't know why sometimes i lose hope sometimes i try so it's a it has just been you know trying and letting go so this day i decided to try do my makeup because guys the last time my makeup was done by a professional i didn't like it at all i didn't like i don't know what this person was actually doing i didn't like it anyway so that's when i decided you know what this is a skill that i feel like every woman should have so i've been trying doing it anyway i was also planning to take uh, makeup classes by mitch Ngoje. i don't know what's really holding me back i feel like i just need somebody to push me to do whatever i want to do because if i don't do it now i don't know if i'll ever do it because i'm almost going back to work and this is the only time that i have Hi guys. to actually Welcome learn back. what i need to learn <laughs> So uh, today we want to take Zuri to do her photo shoot. Uh, she's almost turning one year old and of course, of course, she had to take her, her one year photo shoot. We usually do this before so that on the day of the birthday, we get uh, some pictures to post and that's why we did it. Personally, I love it because at least, you know, what's wrong with my eye? Personally, I love it because at least uh, we'll be creating memories and I just hope that the day goes on well. So we have dresses here for Zuri. This is the first dress. Oh, let me see. Yeah, so this is the first dress. And this is the second. Yeah, so we'll take you guys along and then we show you the outcome. Welcome back <laughs> again. Yeah, so um today's on a Friday evening and I'm here with my beautiful girl Zuri. She's just playing down there. And guys, I'm still in the mood of preparing Zuri's birthday and I love it even though let me just switch off the TV. <laughs> Even though it's super exp like it's expensive, of course. It's a baby's birthday. It's expensive because I wanted it to be that way. Mama. Okay, Zuri is complaining because I've removed the sound. Anyway, guys, so now I want to prepare dinner for myself and Zuri. Her dad is her dad has gone out. So it's only me and her. I've started cooking her chicken. 
so i'm boiling zoria's chicken and she's gonna eat it with some pasta then for me i want to fry some plantain and then i've started uh baking chicken i want to make a chicken barbecue and um, am i going to eat any vegetables i don't think so yeah i don't think so no maybe i'll i'll, I'll prepare a salad yeah, I might prepare a salad or some kachumbari. I will see what I will prepare. But that is it, guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. We are fine here in Canada. And guys, um, yeah, so next week we are planning to go to Banff. I'm super excited about this. But there have been wildfire in Jasper. So I'm just like what's happening guys you know at this particular point i thought that there were no go at this particular time i thought that you know this year we are not going to be having those wildfires unfortunately it just started abruptly like yeah anyway last week i think it started last week because uh it has been too hot understand it has been too hot guys last week we were burning in the houses like the temperatures were reaching positive 34 35 36 guys it was so bad that i really i really hated summer at that time <laughs> i was like you know what if this is summer then i don't want it anymore like why am i really feeling this kind of heat do I have to remove my skin or what? Yeah, so that was it. Last week was not nice at all. It was not nice at night. You know, it was too hot at night. It was too hot during the day. So even going outside was just a no for me. I couldn't do it anymore. And then this week, yeah, the temperature started going down. Like now, it, it rained yesterday and today. And it has cooled like i love love how it is right now it's kind of cold that's why uh, i'm putting on my hoodie but i just love it i really love this kind of weather you know it's not too hot and it's not too cold it's just in the middle where i can just put on my hoodie and walk outside you know yeah so i love it and that's why i think i love fall so much i really love fall because of that yeah so that's how it has been guys so i want i will show you unfortunately i couldn't show you how i was preparing my chicken i think i'll do another vlog showing you my recipe it is a very nice recipe guys it's so nice yeah so i'll show you next time when i do it i think i'll be cooking it maybe um maybe sunday i'll cook it for my husband yeah yeah i think i'll cook it for the whole family with some platinum too yeah i think that day i will vlog yeah so guys just stay with me i will carry you along and zuri says hi before i finish <laughs> i just found this uh my hair is not hairing anymore yeah before i finish i just found these mangoes uh, from superstore and guys if i tell you that i was super excited i can't really explain it anyway guys these are the mangoes they reminded me of home there have been mangoes here but most of them are not that nice i don't like most of them but this one has been really good like i bought 10 because this they sell them in cartons or boxes so i bought one box and i've already eaten one and it's so sweet i've loved the taste zuri has also eaten guys this is how my food looks like i hope i did my best so i have platens and chicken then i'm gonna drink my milk and that's it no vegetables no nothing i don't i don't think i have time for that <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'll see you next. Hi, guys, welcome back. So, we want to do my skincare now. Let me close the door and start now. Let's start now. So, the first thing we're gonna do is to cleanse my face, of course. I'm gonna use my Cetaphil uh, Gentle Cleanser. Honestly, doing a skincare routine in the morning should be easier because you're not been, you've not been out, you've just been sleeping. So, 
it should be easier but now we use a lot of products because we're gonna go out to the sun and we need to protect this beautiful skin that we have my face is clean now i want to dry it with a paper towel Having a skincare routine now is so challenging because, guys, it's super hot. <laughs> and when it's so hot and you have a lot of these oils on your face, then it's not a really good feeling at all. So, guys, yeah, please. I don't know what to say. It's so hot. It really discourages me from doing the skincare. <laughs> so, this is my skin after drying it. Let's go to the next. Is uh, use this uh, vitamin C serum. It's almost done, and I'm hundred percent sure that I'm going. I'm not going to buy it again. I just don't see the essence of having it. They say that you know when they are like when they are advertising it, they say that it's it makes the skin brighter. But I'm just yeah, my skin is soft, but it's not bright, so. Uh, I think I'll, I'll I'll save more and buy maybe an expensive one. Let's see. But this one, oh, I'm just, I'm just so done with this vitamin C thing. So I'm gonna wrap it in for a minute. And guys, if I'm not applying it well, kindly let me know because I'm really not seeing any change since I started using it. I just, I can't. And we're almost finishing the bottle. There you go, guys. I'm done. Then I'm gonna use this, um, Snail mucin. This thing I like it so much. It really hydrates my face. So let's put it. Yeah. Yeah, I know I should have put it in my face, but I don't know what will happen. Are you seeing how much my face is? It really moisturizes it so much. I'm gonna go in with my Anua serum. Now skincare. <laughs> Something about skincare routine is that you have to be patient. If you're not patient, then it's just not gonna work out for you. It's not gonna work out for you. I think I've been consistent for like three or four months now, and this is how my skin looks like. I thought that it was going to be that glassy, but it is not. Anyway, I saw it from a lot of TikTok accounts that they were like they saw the changes from my ear. So we yeah, just we'll keep on doing this. Otherwise, I really like how my skin is. We don't have acne. We don't have so many things. So it's still a good skin, as you can see. I like it so much. Really, if it doesn't bring out the glass skin, I'm okay because my skin is still hmm, lovely. Yeah, so I'm done. The serum. Now we're gonna put our moisturizer i use la roche posay moisturizer it is a really good moisturizer guys so good but i don't like using it much because it's hot now i just can't Lastly, I use my La Roche-Posay. 
I use my La Roche Posay sunscreen. I'll see you guys when I'm making breakfast. We are in the kitchen right now and I'm gonna start preparing my pancakes. Today I'm not going to do it from this, like from scratch. I have this beautiful, not even, I have this uh, pancake mix. Everything is in here. So my work is just to put some water and mix it. That's what we're gonna do now because time is not on our side. How I wish I would have started it from the, from scratch because it comes out the best, but I really don't think I can right now. So let's let's do this, guys. I'm gonna use two cups, so I have one cup. I also want to go and buy bananas so that I can be cooking mix like pancakes for Zuri banana pancakes I don't want to be cooking this type of pancakes for her now because I feel like she's still young even though she really tries she really wants to eat our food but now what do we do hmm? guys Zuri's birthday is coming and I'm really doing this preparation her birthday preparation and I'm like how does time really fly so fast that I'm here now, you know, trying to trying to organize a birthday party for my child, whom I gave birth to yesterday. Guys, I really don't know. I feel so good. I feel so good and it's also an emotional journey. But here we are. I'm super excited and I just hope that everything else turns well. Yeah, so I just want to finish this and then take my laptop, uh, try and order some more balloons because I had bought some balloons. And I feel like the haul that um, we are going to use, at first I really underestimated it because I, I wasn't there. My husband was the one who was there. And so I thought that it was a little bit smaller. But when we went to the hall, guys, the hall is so big. And so I'm just like, you know what? I have to do what I gotta do. So I want to... Um, I want to buy more balloons and you know those deco things I really want to buy more so that we can start this preparation because yo 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 it is so expensive but it's also fulfilling guys this is the first birthday party for my daughter and I'm gonna make it real big because I don't think I'll be I'll be we'll be celebrating the other birthdays as such maybe we'll be just doing something small for the family maybe a barbecue and cutting the cake because she is a summer baby so she's lucky and i'm also lucky to be a summer baby mother and you know uh, a summer mother a summer baby mother what's that yeah yeah anyway i'm so lucky to be a summer mother yeah so we want to do that guys this is the first ever birthday party i'm celebrating for a child this is my firstborn and you know i'm so excited even though people are saying that you know it's not that necessary like we can just do something small because she'll not remember it but i'm just like you know what let me remember it on her behalf <laughs> let me remember it on her behalf yeah and there will, there will be pictures too i know that she'll be proud she will be super happy so yeah yeah guys we're gonna make it big and i hope that you will enjoy it guys i really love my child and you know i feel like i just want to do everything for her like all the best and then you know cut like the daycare that i'm gonna take her they'll be doing some birthday parties for them so it will be nice but now this one she has only been with mommy and mommy has to do something for her yeah so that is it guys and we'll be preparing this and i'll also be going to the stores to like check whatever i need to do a lot do a lot of window shopping so that at least i can budget well that's what i want to do this weekend 
hey guys so this was the next day unfortunately i lost the pancake footage <laughs> i don't know where it went guys i really can't explain but yeah the pancakes came out so well they were fluffy soft and so nice uh, we really enjoyed it we really enjoyed them yeah so i think next time when i'm cooking pancakes i think i'll start from scratch so that i can show you guys what i do they usually they usually come out so well anyway we decided to cook some cassava <laughs> some cassavas and um my husband loves them so much so every moment we go to a superstore sometimes i just decide to buy it for him so when he's around actually we cook we cook the cassavas when he's at home because he's the one who cooks them he likes them so much and therefore he really puts his time and his skills <laughs> in cooking them so what i only do is peel them for him and prepare them and then he takes over guys if i say that he makes the best cassavas he really does especially for breakfast oh we enjoy them so much so this was what i was doing i was just peeling them for him and then he can cook them <laughs> after peeling oh, i washed them really well and then i started boiling them we have to boil them just a little bit uh, with water and salt and then after that he fries them yeah so that's that's the recipe for this uh, type of cassava guys this was the end product after boiling then the next step was frying them so this is what he does he takes uh, the cassava put them inside uh, eggs and then he fries them basically he just coats the cassavas with eggs and then he fries them which come out so well i really can't explain how they usually taste but they come out so tasty and well cooked the best this is actually the best <laughs> yes we really enjoyed our breakfast and so after eating the delicious breakfast prepared by the only mister hmm? I decided to catch up with the TMI podcast KE. Guys, if I tell you that every single week I look forward to their new episodes, I'm not lying. These two ladies really do their thing. Like I love love their pro, their podcast and actually I was among the first people to watch their products, not the the podcast. <laughs> And I, every single time, I fall in love with whatever they do. And, you know, it really makes me so excited, guys. This reminds me of some time back when Maureen Bandari used to have this segment of How Was Your Weekend. Guys, I used to look forward to Mondays when everybody's crying about Monday. I'm just like, when is Monday gonna come so that I can read the stories <laughs> of other people's weekend and the week? ah it was so nice anyway guys i really love what these two people are doing and they're really doing a good job if you're not yet watching tmi podcast go and watch their episodes i'm sure you will love them i'm really really sure anyway guys that's all for our video this week thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye